Hi you guys! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I prepare all my photos to put into my travel journal. Here I'm using my iPhone and my new Canon Selfie CP1200 printer to print out some pictures. I'm using the app called PicFrame, and what you want to do when you go in here is set the ratio to 2 to 3 or 3 to 2, and that will give you a 4 by 6 size photo. Here I'm just going through my camera roll. I've already created an album for my trip and I'm gonna choose four photos to print. Once I've chosen my pictures, I'm gonna just do some adjustments like rotating and moving them around to make sure that they look good. Now I'm going to style to take off the border and then I'm gonna be ready to print. One thing to note when you're printing with a selfie printer is that the edges on the right and left will have a little bit cut off. You'll get to see that when I print them out. So now I'm saving that to my camera roll and I'm going to go to the Canon app. And you can see that it's already connected to my printer and I'm just going to go to photo print camera roll and select the pic collage that I just made. After I've selected that, I can go to make sure that everything looks okay, and then I'm going to print the photo. I kept this part in real time so that you guys could see how long it actually takes for this printer to print the photo out. If you've seen this printer in action, you know that it prints all the colors separately and shows on the screen which color it's printing. At the end, it puts a clear coat on top, and even though these photo prints are glossy, they do not show any fingerprints, which is nice. It takes a little bit under one minute for a photo to print, but I'm printing four or more pictures per sheet most of the time, so it's actually pretty fast. This is the final pass through and the clear coat is on, now it's done. You can see that the photos come out pretty true to color. They're a little bit on the cool side, so if that's something that bothers you, you may want to use a photo editor to warm up the photos before you print. But you can see that the bottom edge of the photo does get shrunk or cut off a little bit so keep that in mind when you're centering your pictures in your collage. Now I'm just breaking off the little perforated edges. I'm using scissors to cut these apart. You can use a paper cutter if you want it to be more precise and then they're ready to put in your travel journal. I also printed some different size photos, so to make this smaller rectangle, which is approximately a 2 by 3 I used the pic frame that had four photo slots. To print the larger rectangular photo, I used the pic frame that has just half and half, top and bottom. And then I printed some square photos, and I used the one that has six photo slots. After I've printed out all my photos, I'll go through and organize them according to city, event, or date. This just makes it a lot easier when you're putting together your travel journal to have the photos you need for each page. If you missed my last travel journal video where I showed you how I prepare and organize all the things I collected on my trip, I'll link that above right here and you can check that out. I will add these photos to each of those envelopes according to the city so that it's easy for me to put my travel journal together. Another option for printing your own pictures for your travel journal is this Polaroid zip printer. I've had this for a couple years and it works really well. The only thing is that the prints are much more expensive than printing four on a sheet with the Canon selfie printer. It's about six cents with the Canon selfie versus 50 cents for the Polaroid zip if you do this size print. 
So if you are looking to print a lot of photos, which I usually do for a travel journal, this might not be the best option, but if you want a printer that you can actually take with you on the trip, this would be a great option. Here I'm just going to show you the print quality, a comparison between the two, the Canon Selfie and the Polaroid Zip printer. The orientation on these photos is different, but you can still see the color differences. The Polaroid Zip on the right is a little bit more warm toned and the Canon Selfie on the left has more vivid colors, but they're a little bit on the cooler side. A cool feature that the Polaroid Zip has over the Canon Selfie is that the prints are actually stickers, so you can peel off the back and stick it straight into your journal. The last photo option that I wanted to share with you guys was these cardstock prints from Social Print Studio. I'll have their website linked down below. I used these for my Japan travel journal and I was really happy with them except for the fact that the prints are printed on a very thick cardstock type of paper. They are matte which I like but the thickness really bulked up my travel journal after I had put in a few hundred photos which is fine but this time I'm gonna go for the Canon selfie prints because they're a lot thinner and they're a lot more cost effective to print myself. That's how I prepare my photos for my travel journal. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions for photos in a travel journal, leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do so you can see new videos from me every week. Thanks for watching.